Good morning to everyone. Welcome to my backyard. I would like to introduce you guys to my new turtles. This one, his name is Bert. This one is Hui Hui, Cecilia, and Wu Gui. Today we will be attempting to fix our fence post and also work on our mulch bed. This will be a mulch bed and we're trying to attach a border so we're gonna have to do some digging. This is our really old fence and as you can see, if I just push on it a little, the wood has chipped away from old age and so we bought this thing. It's called the Easy Mender Fence Post Mender. Stick it in here and then hammer it down to help stabilize this huge post. We just have to screw it in and then it will stick to the post and help make it stronger. Now it's still a little wobbly but less wobbly than before. Now for the mulch bed, first we have to add a little line so that we know where to dig a groove or a little trench for this siding to go into. We're using baby powder because nobody else is using it. Ta-da! That's kind of the general shape of the mulch bed. Just one or two inches. Or two inches okay, now we have finished digging a little trench for the siding. And then we have to level it to make sure that it's completely flat. We bought this leveler ruler thingy. Bubble should be in, in the middle. middle. So it's too high on the right. Oh, okay. But we will keep trying. This kit came with some stakes so that we can secure it to the ground. How do you do it? This um, way or that way? Oh, you can do it from inside. Then you won't see it. Okay. Which, which one is a good one? Like right in the middle? First to the okay. Okay. It's pretty leveled. Now we just have to do the inside. We put on a layer of garden soil. So we're gonna plan out what kind of plants we're gonna plant in here. And then in the middle is gonna be a sitting area. Um, but first we gotta do the plants and then we'll add the mulch as the final step. Before we cover this with mulch, we got some of these perennial flowers and plants. The leafy one is called Hosta. This one is Hosta Fortune Oreo Marginata. This one will have, looks like it will have flowers too. Then I have uh, these perennial flowers called Leucanthemum Superbum Becky. Then there's this one called Coreopsis Grand Flora Sunkiss. One more called a Gaylardia Spin Top Yellow Touch. This one is lavender, and these are daylilies and more hosta.
we finished planting all of our perennial plants and now we are adding some more garden soil to level everything up and once we finish that we will cover it with this sierra red mulch We are done the mulching of our mulch bed. It is super red looking and all of our plants look great. Hopefully they will survive. I want to find uh, a toadstool stool for the middle and then I'll put like some decorations in here. One turtle goes here. Another one goes over here. Number three. And the final turtle, Hui Hui, Bert, Cecilia, and Ugwe finally have a new home. It looks so cute. Everything is pretty much done. All done. Welcome to my new mulch bed. Look what I was able to get. It's a toadstool stool. Update on all of the perennial flowers that we planted in this mulch bed. This one is looking huge and so vibrant. Bartholomew is really enjoying these yellow flowers that have been doing pretty well and there's still lots of them waiting to bloom. The mushroom stool with my stepping stones and then the hostas have been growing pretty big as well. This daily bloomed for a little bit, but now I'm waiting for the new ones. And then she has not been doing too well. She's always been getting eaten. So I don't know if any flowers will come out this year. But that is my completed mulch bed. Mm -hmm.